morning, artists. Today, we are going to start by writing our name on our paper for the square one. So, it is important that you fill in each letter of your first and last name on the top of the paper and put it nicely in the little boxes. You put your grade on there where it says grade and then your teacher and then MGES for your school. Now we are going to draw an owl. So the first step in drawing an owl is to make a big U on your paper. Once you have made the U, then you need to put the ears on your owl. So see how I am making little triangles and then another U to create the top shape of my owl. Then I am making two smaller U's on the bottom to create the legs of my owl. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make a branch for my owl to be standing on. If you notice, my branch is an organic shape and it looks like it is flowing. I also need to give my owl some little talons so it can work its owl magic in the world. Now I'm going to make a triangle on the top or a V and then I'm going to make eyes. Owls have very interesting eyes and sometimes they have different shapes around their eyes. So I am drawing what looks like little U's around the eyes of my owl just to add more decoration. Now this is your project so you can make it however you see fit. So if you want to add lots and lots of details, add lots and lots of details. If you don't want that many details, don't add a lot of details. Now Mr. Owl or Mrs. Owl needs a beak so I'm going to add a beak and then I'm going to make a wavy U-like line to create the feathers for my owl. So here I am making U's. If you notice my U's do not match up. They are where there was a break and so that creates a very feather-like look on my owl. You are going to draw yours in pencil and then trace it in Sharpie. Now that I have my owl, it is time to paint. So I am going to pick if I want my owl to have crazy colors or if I want it to be more natural. I picked a more natural owl, so I am just using the tip of my paintbrush and adding a little bit of paint to my brush. You notice how you can still see a lot of green on the bristles. And I am painting away. And now, through the magic of video, you can now see a finished product. I used different colors to create the sky. I don't know if I really like this, but you can make what works best for you.